So what's actually new uh, in Emirates? What, what do you offer to customers? Well, there's always something new at Emirates. It starts with our expansion policy. I mean, we have 68 Airbus A380 currently in our fleet. We will get 72 more. So what's new? Of course, we get new destinations and new frequencies to some destinations we already fly to. Of course, we have one fantastic new addition to our network this year, which is Bali, where we fly uh, in a very good combination um, with our Vienna flight. So you can take one of our two daily flights out of Vienna, first to Dubai and then further on to Bali which is a great experience. What else will be coming? I'm, as apart from our Airbus A380s, we get a lot of 777s, those beautiful two-engine aircraft, and they also have to fly somewhere. So it's always worth to stay tuned with Emirates because there are new destinations coming in addition to the 148 we currently fly to. What is the reason why are you getting so popular in the last period of time? Because I am just uh, getting to know about you more and more. Well, you just have to watch TV on the weekends, I think. You either watch a Formula One race, you watch a soccer game, you yeah, you maybe are into golf or tennis and you just watch a play and then what, you will, what will you see? Well, most probably fly Emirates because your favorite soccer team is uh, sponsored by us. So the brand Emirates gets more and more, you know, gets more and more well known in the market simply because we do a lot of sponsoring and of course because more and more passengers fly with us and once they return home they're always quite proud to be able to say well I flew Emirates to my vacation. Okay back to Bali I would like to know some uh, practical information about how for example a Slovak person a Slovak tourist could get uh, to Bali from Slovakia. Well it's basically very easy for example um, even if you are an economy class passenger you can take a bus that brings you from Bratislava to Vienna airport if you want to know more about this um, all the travel agents in Slovakia know how to book this service how to get to, Brat to from Bratislava to Vienna first and then you just enter our aircraft we have economy business class first class so whatever you want to fly you can fly it with Emirates and once you are on our flight to Dubai it's just five and a half hours you have a short stop over in Dubai and then you fly directly further on to Bali. It's a quite convenient combination um, out of the two flights because it's just 17 hours of flight time which is the shortest connection from uh, Vienna to Bali. No other airline offers this in such a short time frame. On the way back, well, there is a little bit more time to spend at Dubai Airport so you will be there for four hours but no worries, there is lots of things you can do at Dubai Airport. I mean, it's not any airport, it's one of the biggest in the world. You have restaurants that are open 24-7, you have a massive duty-free shop that you can explore and even the airport in itself is a structure that is really something you can marvel at. So the journey from uh, Bratislava to Bali and back is something that is really an experience and if you maybe want to do some more stuff even when you're traveling to Bali, you can also make a stop over in Dubai. Let's say you're flying back, you anyways have to spend some time at the airport. Why not? Let's make it two days in Dubai as well on your way back and explore the city. There's so many things you can do in Dubai. I mean, every time I go there, and I go there quite often because I work for Emirates, I still, every time I go there, I watch a show of the Dubai fountains in, in, in the front of Burj Khalifa because it gives me goosebumps. This is like something that you can only do in Dubai and it's fascinating. I have such a tricky question. Have your, uh, has your company ever considered um, reading your company into Bratislava, for example? Well, um, I would say that any city in the world is a possible city for Emirates to fly to if there are enough passengers that are willing to board our aircraft. That's very simple. Um, on the other hand, as we are already flying to Vienna and it's so close to travel from Bratislava to Vienna, especially as I mentioned, you can, as an economy class passenger, take the bus in business and first class. You can even book an additional service which is called the chauffeur drive service with Emirates. So for a flat fee, you will, get, you will be picked up at your door and uh, driven basically to the airport. In, from Bratislava it costs a little bit. But if you're, for example, in Dubai, the chauffeur drive service will get you to any hotel in the UAE, so it's quite convenient. But to answer your question, we will see what the future brings. I mean, 72 Airbus A380 have to fly somewhere, and I think there are some hundreds of Boeing 777 to come to our network as well. But to be honest, for right now, there is no date for Bratislava, and I strongly recommend simply to choose our flight out of Vienna. Our flights, I have to say, because there are two every day.
Talking of prices, what are the prices from Vienna to Bali? Uh, and maybe what are the discounts that the customers or the tourists could be interested in? Well, it's always worth to go to, to your travel agency to ask what is the current best fare on Emirates to Bali because it changes sometimes. You know, there are seasons in the year where you um, get very good discounts because it might not be the top travel season to Bali, but it's still nice to go there if you're, for example, more interested in the cultural aspect of it. If you want to go during um, the season where it's nice for bathing because the temperatures are good, of course, there are lots and lots of people that want to travel, especially during the summer. And that's then always the point. If you're early on with your, with your travel booking, it might pay off to be a little bit cheaper than if you're on super short notice before the flight, because then all the other people might have already booked and then it's a little bit more expensive. So actually your advice is to watch out the internet, right? Well, not only the internet, because on the internet you would uh, basically uh, it's not that straightforward. I think the expert in the industry is really your travel agent. So go to a travel agency, ask them um, what are the connections to Bali, what are the current fares, because they are the experts. They know every airline, they know every uh, condition, every fare, every whatever you want to know. They are the, really the experts. And on the website, you just see maybe one airline. You, it's it's something I, I would strongly recommend to just see a travel agency. Of course, I mean, you can also book through the, through the internet. There are plenty of ways, basically, to come to Bali and how to book your journey. My last question at you. Uh, if you have to compare your company or your airlines to, to the others that maybe fly to Bali as well, um, what are the main advantages for the customers? Well, I would say every passenger, they want to go to Bali to spend the vacation there. But isn't it worth to think about how could the flight also be part of the vacation, not just the A to B transportation, but really part of the vacation, and Emirates makes this possible. Because irrespective of the class you're traveling in, you're getting an entertainment system with, yeah, well, up to more than 2,000 channels. So music from Johann Sebastian Bach to David Getze, you have Hollywood movies, you have Bollywood movies, whatever you're interested in, you get it on Emirates, you get it in our entertainment system, which for the 11th year in a row has been awarded the best entertainment system in the world, which is quite a thing. You have our multinational cabin crew that might even speak your language on board. You have catering included in every ticket, so you don't pay extra. You don't pay extra for, your, for the entertainment system uh, as well. It's free of charge, it's included in your ticket. You can get 30 kilos of baggage in economy class, 40 in business class, 50 in first class. So even if you go shopping in Bali, you will still get all your stuff and belongings with you home. And there is plenty of things that makes flying with Emirates such a nice experience. But of course, I personally would say I always fly with Emirates because I really like the entertainment system. And I do sometimes don't have the time to go to the cinema, but it's a good thing once I fly with Emirates. It's quite likely that the movies that I've missed at the cinema are in that entertainment system.